Hey guys and welcome to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. So in today's After Effects tutorial we are going to learn that how can we apply some of the basic animation presets in Adobe After Effects. As we all know that using Adobe After Effects we can create a ton of animation techniques or animation effects. But do you know that some of the animations are the ones that are provided by Adobe After Effects itself? So first of all, we will preview that what are these effects. So this is a flicker effect. This is a rearrangement effect. This is a typewriter effect. And this is a tool effect. So let's see that how can we create them. As you know, first of all, we have to go to composition and create a new composition. Now you can name it anything that you want. So I'm naming it animation presets. Now uh, you have to keep the frame rate at 30 frames per second. But for this animation, I'm keeping a duration of around 10 seconds. Hit OK. Now we have to add a background layer. So right click on the layer area, go to new and add a new solid layer. I'm naming it PG and without concerning with the color, hit OK. Next, go to effects and presets and search for an effect called ramp. You will find an effect called gradient ramp under generate. Now change the ramp shape to a radial ramp and grab onto the first anchor point and bring it to the center and the second anchor point that is present over here place it somewhat here now you need to just swap the colors and for the start color instead of white I'm choosing a shade of gray now once you're happy with your background make sure to lock it the next thing we are going to do is add a text layer so right click on the layer area go to new and select text now here you can type in any text that you want i'm typing in animation presets now once you have typed your text you can just uh, go to character and select this small caps option the next thing we are going to do is create duplicates of this text layer so i have to create four duplicates now there are two ways to do that. Either you can just select this layer and hit Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate it like this or you can just select one layer, go to edit. Here you will find an option of duplicate. You can duplicate it from here as well. Now I have created four duplicates. First of all, I'm going to turn the visibility of the top three layers as off only my first layer would be visible and in this i'm going to apply an animation preset so for that you need to go to effects and presets tab over here and as soon as you go there you will find that at the top there is an option called animation presets so if you expand it you will find there are various folders that are present now these are all the animation presets that are available in adobe after effects these are the built-in animation presets provided by Adobe After Effects. If you want, you can just expand these folders and look out for your effects as per your wish. Otherwise, you can always use the search tab to search for the effects. The first effect that I am using is Flicker Color. Now you will find that this Flicker Color effect is present under Fill and Stroke which is present under text in the animation presets. So grab onto this flicker color and apply it to your text layer. Now, if we preview it, this is the flicker animation that we have got, but it looks pretty bit unnatural. So we have to manipulate some of the values of this animation effect. So we need to go to this text layer, expand it, here you will find an option called text 
so we have to expand it as well now here you will find an option of animator wiggle hue slash stroke so expand it here you will find an option of wiggle selector on expanding it you will find the different values so uh, we have to play with some of the values over here change the based on from characters to characters excluding spaces increase the amount of the wiggles per second to around 45 change the correlation value to around 80 percent and change the random seed value to a 10 next we need to just change the fill hue value to uh, actually keep the fill hue value same and change the stroke hue value to 100 degrees and decrease the stroke width to around 10 now uh, once you have changed all your values you can always just preview your animation now this is the flicker effect that we have created and it looks pretty cool to look at now uh, just collapse this layer back go to about one and a half seconds in time and this is the point where we want our layer or this flicker animation to end so just drag your layers endpoint to round here now move forward to about a few frames now uh, we have to just adjust the second text layer so that it starts a few frames after the first text layer has ended now we have to turn on the second layer and apply some of the effects in this second layer as well in our sample animation we applied an effect called blue note which is present under graphical in animation presets into our animation so we are going to apply the same effect now once you have applied you can just preview it which is a pretty cool animation so when this animation ends you have to just uh, drag your layer to that particular point in time if you want you can also go to edit and here you will find an option of split layer you can split this layer and the extra layer that is created you can just delete it so this was the second animation presets being applied the next is for the third text layer so we have to just turn its visibility on and drag it few frames after the second animation has completed now in this we are going to add a typewriter effect now this typewriter effect is nothing but the effect which occurs as if the words are being typed in an animation so that is why this is known as a typewriter effect so just go to effects and presets and search for an effect called typewriter so just click on this typewriter and apply it to your text clip now if we just preview it So this is the animation that we have got but it looks a pretty bit slow so just grab onto your layer hit u to bring up the keyframes here you will find both of these keyframes so just select both of them hit f9 on your keyboard to easy ease them and just bring the last keyframe a little bit closer to the first keyframe now this animation looks pretty cool and once you are happy with it you can always split the layer so go to edit and split layer and just delete the newly formed layer the next thing you are going to do is move forward a few frames in time and drag on to your uppermost text layer as it will start uh, about after five seconds in animation now turn it back on now we are going to apply another animation preset and that is known as twirl on each line. So just grab onto it and apply it to your layer. This is the effect that we have got and it looks pretty cool. 
so this is what we have created and i hope you all have enjoyed the tutorial and keep watching the youtube channel programming knowledge for more such tutorials till then bye bye